Hi, my name is Tim. Welcome to Life in Notions. Today is Friday, which means it's pizza night. So I'll be showing you my pizza recipe. I've been making pizza from scratch since I was a teenager and I always used to use strong white bread flour for the base, but recently I discovered this Italian double O flour, uh, which gives it a more authentic uh, flavor and texture. And we actually really prefer it. We get it off Amazon. Um, because you can't buy it in the local supermarkets, but it makes a big difference. So we're going to make pizza dough in the bread maker because it's quite cold in Scotland and it rises a lot better and it's a lot easier than doing it by hand. So we're going to use a teaspoon of Easy Bake yeast that doesn't need any pre-mixing. Just put that in the bottom. Then 500 grams of the double zero flour. Spot on. Then I'm going to put in a teaspoon of salt. And finally, 325 grams of, I use slightly warmed water, because it's, as I say, it's very cold in here. Okay. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna put this into the bread maker. We're going to put it on the pizza setting, which takes 45 minutes, start it off, and then we'll come back when it's done. So that's the bread maker finished, so I'm just going to get the dough out of here. Okay, turn this off. So, I'm just going to add a little bit of flour. Okay, so that's the dough out of the bread maker. What I'm going to do, Chris likes thinner pizzas than me, so I usually split it two thirds to a third. Just split it into two, two amounts like that. Then I'm going to take each one and I'm just going to knead it, get some of the air out of it. And Add a little bit of flour if it gets sticky. So once finished kneading that bit, all you do is you just pull it down over itself. Add a little bit of flour to, and then you'll have a bit at the bottom where it's sort of sealing. You just squeeze it together like that and leave it Ideally somewhere warm, but it seems to work in here even though it's cold. So then we'll do the other one. Again, just mm, how cold is it? Just knead the air out of it. 13 and a half degrees. I have just put the heating on. That's why it's so warm. <laughs> <laughs> so once you've kneaded most of the air out of it, you take the ball you've got and you basically just drag it round so you're stretching it like that and you'll have a bit underneath the way there's a join just pinch that together and then you've got a ball of dough like that we're just going to leave that and that sprinkle a little bit of flour over the top just to help stop it getting sticky so now i've got the two balls of dough and um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover them with cling film to stop them drying out too much and then i'm going to leave them for about half an hour, 40, 40 minutes to rise again. Okay, so just leave them like that. And what I usually do, if you've got large dogs, is put things in front of them to stop the dogs messing about with your dough while it's rising. Like that. Okay, so we've had the dough proving here for a while now, um, and 
what I'm going to do now is stretch them out, put them on the uh, lightly greased pizza trays. Uh, so, I'll cover them. And we're just going to add a little bit of flour because they're quite sticky after rising. And just scrape them up. And all I do is just keep turning it and stretching it. I'm not very good, I can't do the whole spinning on the finger thing. Add a little bit more flour. Okay, so when it looks like you've got to the right size, all you do is transfer it across onto the tray, like so. The trays we're using are um, Pyrex non-stick pizza trays. Um, we had a lot of problems when we moved here with pizza sticking to the old trays we had. Um, so we got these and they've been fantastic, a nice crispy base and it's not been sticking at all. So, for tomato sauce I use a tomato passata which is a sieved Italian tomatoes. Right. I'm put some on here. So I used to use uh, chopped Italian tomatoes, um, but I found obviously the passata is a lot easier to work with because uh, you can just tip it in and go and it tastes just as good. So I'll just spread that round. Next I'm going to put on oregano. We use this uh, Cyprus oregano that we get uh, when we go and stay with Chris's family out in Cyprus. Um, it tastes a lot nicer than the regular oregano we get over here. Um, so we tend to bite it in bulk and bring it back. I'm just going to sprinkle some over the top. As you can see I usually make quite a mess when I cook. That doesn't matter. Next, the cheese. Um, I use a combination of Monterey Jack and strong cheddar because um, I like a strong cheese and the Monterey Jack melts really nicely. Um, so, just. And we use quite a lot of cheese because I love cheese. Okay, so we've added the cheese. Um, next, you're just going to add the toppings. Obviously, you can add whatever you like on top of pizza. Um, Chris likes green pepper. So I'm just going to chop that up. I'm just going to sprinkle some over the top. And she likes mushroom as well. I'm just going to add some on there. And again, this is entirely up to your own tastes. Whatever you happen to like. I'm vegetarian, so I'm never put meat on pizza and Chris lives with me so she doesn't get meat on pizza so while I was doing all this the oven's been preheating um, I set it to gas mark 8 um, this is quite a terrible old oven so it's taken some experimentation but I find really hot is the best way to do it I'm going to put them in for about 20 minutes and halfway through I'm going to swap them over and turn them around because the oven doesn't cook evenly and after that hopefully it should all be done So that's the pizzas ready, they've been about 25 minutes, the pizza's gone golden, the crust is nice and crispy, let's serve them up. The non-stick's very good, it just slides off from each base, but lightly oiled with olive oil but hardly anything. Okay, so just need to cut them up, they smell delicious, so let's see. Delicious. So let's see whether it meets the crisp seal of the food. Mm. 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 Mm.
Let's see, unlike you, I prefer to start my pizza at the middle of the slice, not the crust. It's very good. I do prefer the pizza with this though. Yes. 